Okay, you press spectate. Now the round is true, so that's why it triggers. There we go. Player two, player one. Player two, player two, player one. Uh, I've um, made a poll on my Discord server, and people wanted me to do a spectate system. A lot of people suggested me to do this, so I made this um, tutorial. Now, right now we are in our round system tutorial, which we made. I think this is the item randomizer uh, tutorial, uh, but it doesn't really matter. Um, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people want me to do a spectate system that corresponds that it's implemented inside a round system. So basically, when you spectate, it doesn't spectate anyone, but it spectates only the players that are in the round. So that's specifically what we're gonna do today. So. I'm gonna have a uh, model in the, in the description. I'm gonna this one right here. Um, now I'm gonna go over the script uh, just so people can actually understand and not just always comment down, uh, you know, in the video and you know always ask me why does this work. So I made a UI and everything. Um, so you don't have to really worry about this unless you want to change. It, of course, you probably should change it anyways. Um, you don't you want the same exact thing, right? Um, so I can change this around, change the color or whatever. Uh, this is the button. So let's say you can change this to whatever you want. Uh, I can add gradients by adding UI gradients. So you can actually do um like you add a UI like this right here. You can you know add a UI gradient. So like it's like this. Boom. Or it doesn't really matter. Um, but that, that that's a, that's a UI gradient. That's what a UI gradient. Is. I think this should be negative ninety. Okay. Uh, but yeah, if you, you can do stuff like that. Um, but yeah. That's for the GUI. Um, so for our main toggle thingy where you can press, uh, you know, like right and left, got the two buttons and the player. This will change to the player's name when the camera changes. So when I go to a different player's camera, it will change to their uh, username, pretty much. Now the main script is only uh, is all in this one local script. Uh, okay, let's just go over this. So cam is the current camera game that work really stop current camera this is the button so script that parent oops why am i clicking on the wrong thing oops okay oh my god uh, i think i should I just all right let's so people can see better uh visible is whether or not the uh, this is a variable for whether or not the like when they click click spectate you know this is going to appear and then disappear right so this variable will be used to uh detect whether or not the um toggle frame is visible or not this is our toggle player name is the text label right here that we will uh, actually manipulate manipulate and player is the local player this is local player right here and I just come sometimes I like to uh, separate my variables kind of this is so sketchy like when I'm so zoomed in and playing team now this is what we'll be using to detect whether or not a player is playing now let's say we have the teams right here so we have a lobby team and playing team if you don't actually have this you don't really need this um Actually, I'll show you what to do if you don't have the these teams, but this is specifically for um having a playing team. So you have like players in round and players that are not in round, players that are in the lobby, right? Uh, you can change this to the name of the playing team. So usually it's, it's going to stay as playing, which means all the players that are playing in the round. Okay, so we just set the position uh, to off screen because by default it should be off screen, and when the player clicks on it, it will appear on screen. This is like off screen. So basically it's like under the uh, thing. All right. And player num. This is what we'll, we'll be using to detect the index of the player. Now okay, I'm going to show you. Anyways. So this is our function. Actually, we're going to do that later. So we're going to do mouse spun dot one click. So this is when they click the spectate button. Uh, actually, let's zoom out. Okay. So this is yeah. This is basically what's tweeting the position of the toggle frame. So it's not visible, meaning, which is by default. If the frame is not uh, appeared yet, we're going to make it a uh, tween to the screen. So 0 0.5, 0 0.9 this is a position on the screen. Uh, we've got the easing direction, oops, what the heck? easing direction, which is in, easing style sign. Actually, you can put this out, I like out better. Like out better, you can change that. Uh, sign as the easing, uh, easing style, uh, 0 0.3 seconds time. Uh, and override uh, is, is false, uh, doesn't really matter. Um, so this is when that appears on screen. Uh, then you want to set it to true, the visible variable. So 
now when visible is true and you click on it again the spectate button it will uh, go off screen and will disappear basically uh, and it tweens it out of the screen and when if, for example if a player is currently spectating a person it will go back to their uh, own camera so that's why we set the camera that's the camera subject it was player dot character there and this is the local player all right so this is just for the spectate button so this button right here this is for the spectate button okay actually let's room all this it's confusing uh so this is when they click this button all right so now when they click the next button right here so this is the next button right here so we got the next button and i click this and this is pretty much the same thing as previous uh just except it's increasing the increment um or it's incrementing or decrementing whatever um basically now we use this function we return a value when we uh go to do this to go to this function call it and we turn uh in round which is a table so we got all the players and we uh make a table now this will uh cal um or detect not or not detect but basically count all the players that are in the round and we do this by a for loop so we check if their team name is playing team which is playing if their team that name is playing then we insert uh the player inside this table right here and then when we're done with this loop we can uh return this value and then we can use it in this uh event so this is the table now we just renamed it players in round you can really rename it anything but uh plays around just so it makes sense so if the number of the elements in the table is greater than zero meaning there are players in the round then we can continue so we increase the player num now this is what we use to to make the um to use as the index for the table now we can actually since the reason why we're adding is because we press next when you go next you want to add the number to the um or at the index basically uh this actually just checks now probably should have coded this better but whatever um you want to check if the player num which is the index is greater than the index of the table that we just got from this function if it if it isn't greater then we're going to continue it actually doesn't really matter um, but if it does uh, get greater than the number of elements in the table, which is the amount of players in the round, you want to set it back to zero. So basically, we're starting the table. And when we get the player, so current player is the players in round this table with this index, player num. So this is the number we're increasing, or the index that we're increasing. Um, so we get the player from that table, and we set, so if the, the player is at nil, which I don't think is necessary, but whatever. Um, we set the camera, the camera subject, to the humanoid, which is the current player's humanoid, which is what we want to spectate. And we change the text to the player's name, basically the player's name that we're spectating, or the player that we're spectating. Yeah. All right, and this is pretty much the same thing in the previous uh, event. So if you click the previous button, you do the same. You do the same thing except we decrement by one. So we decrement the index of that table by one. So we go backwards, and if it's greater than one, we can continue. Otherwise, if it's like less than one, we want to restart to the number of players that are in the round. So to the last place again. Pretty much the same exact function. And then we pretty much do the same exact thing. We set the camera, the camera subject to the humanoid of the player that we want to spectate and change the text. And yeah, it's actually pretty simple. Um, yeah, it's very simple. Um, it took a, took a bit for me to script just because there was stupid mistakes. I mean, I'll, let, I'm, I'll make a lot of stupid mistakes. Um, might just need to fix. I mean, don't really, there's nothing to really fix. Um, though there is something you could add, for example, let's say you want, oh, well, I forgot to, so if you don't have a playing team if you don't have a playing team um what you can do is remove this statement honestly um you can do or actually not really but you can if you if you don't have an, um a playing team or anything like that because remove this statement and that's pretty much it and remove this end because you just want to remove the if statement by itself uh but right now we want to add the if statement so we want to check with the playing uh the player is in round right and the playing is currently playing in around um, and that's pretty much it. We can test this by actually making a test server. 
And I think the one thing, okay, so what we also want to do, um, you can also do um, make another if statement. Now, this is optional, but whatever. You can do, uh, so when they click next, if the round, so maybe you want to, you don't want people to spectate while there is in a round, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be people asking me about this. Uh, so we have values right here. So in round, so in round is basically what um, it basically detects or it changes whether or not the, the round or the game is currently in a round or not. So basically, if the game is in a round, this will this value will be true. Otherwise, if all the players are in the lobby, right, it's an intermission, uh, the in round value would be false. So we can make an if statement here. And you don't really have to do this, but you know why not? So if a uh, game are replicated stored in round one, by the way, this is um, from our previous uh, game, uh, our previous round system uh, tutorials. So just in case you're confused or anything, uh, this is from our previous uh, round system um, tutorials. Uh, you can check that uh, if you want. So we'll do dot value equal true, then then pretty much paste all the code right here inside the system. And pretty much can do the same thing. So in round of value is true. And same with previous. Or actually no, actually don't also what am I doing? Um I don't think you need to do that. I think what you should do that for. Sorry, it's not for next, but when you click on the spectate button. When you click on the spectate button right here. So do this. Oops. If game that replicate is stored, then round of value is true. And then put another end right here. Right. So this is when you click the actual spectate button. Um, but yeah, that's a little addition to it. Uh, it's not nothing much. Uh, let's actually make a test server and we can test this out right now. All right, you actually want to add the if statement when you're, um, yeah, okay, hold a minute. whatever. Let's just test it out right now and then make a few fixes. Let's see, okay, so far. So far, so far, so far. Um, okay, so the game just starts. Okay, you press spectate. Now the round is true, so that's why it triggers. There we go. Player two, player one. Player two, player two, player one. Uh, I can go back to like this. And it keeps on restarting because remember we restarted the player index the player number, which is used as the index for the table. So that's why it keeps on restarting the table or repeating or basically set to zero. So now we can actually, now I did make a student mistake. Uh, oh yeah, I think it's broke. Uh, okay, yeah. Then let's see, let's see what the hell happened. Unequip tools, that's weird. It's not a uh, humanoid root part. Oh, that's why, okay. <laughs> It's, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's irrelevant anyways. That's irrelevant. Um, just to make this a little bit better, in case you run a counter some bugs, actually, let's, instead of this, make the if statement, make, make the if statement here. So if not visible, then just, let's make a if statement on the other one uh, inside this if statement. Okay, do end. That's it. So that's only, uh, so this if statement only runs if um, the spectate thing is already not uh, visible. So players can actually like uh, click this out or click this to go off the screen, even though uh, they're not in the round. But we could make it so like when the round ends, we just make the uh, thing um, go away, the button, so they are not so well, they're not allowed. No, they're, they are allowed to spectate, but when there's, well, on the players are in the lobby, you don't want people to spectate while, while they're in the lobby. So we can do game dot replicate store dot in round dot chain connect function uh so game i shouldn't make a variable for this but whatever in round the value equal false meaning if there is no round or oh, something to stop making if statement then so that's when everyone is in the lobby at that point so there's no round and thus double equals. 
Uh, actually, we copy this. Copy this. Uh, copy all this. So this is when they uh, click off of the spectate, pretty much. So you want to set um, move this uh toggle frame off the screen. Uh, make the visible variable to false and make the camera to the player's camera, the local player. All right. I think that's good. Uh, let's test this out finally. Uh, I think should be, should be well. I have this one error on the round system. I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, I think I did a uh, stupid mistake. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I did a stupid mistake. Whatever. Um, pretty much. Yeah, but that's the relevant. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay, let's go to our client. Let's see if it's gonna gonna take some time to load. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's hope my PC doesn't explode. All oh, right. Hmm. Let's see. Where is this Rumble? Okay, I didn't. I didn't spell it right. Okay. So right now we can't click. Now when the round starts, we can click on the spectate. Actually, yeah, cool. We're on the lobby, so we can spectate now. But that's like if we if we're in the lobby and the round is still starting. If that makes any sense. So let's say we're we're dead, right? We we got eliminated, and we can spectate from the lobby, pretty much. But whatever. But yeah, it works because um, it works because we're um, we're playing, we're in the playing team, and we're in the round. So that's how it works. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. By the way, like my shirt. Uh, if you want more, definitely make sure to like and subscribe. Also, be sure to make um to be uh, to check out our Discord actually, um, Reactive Studio Discord. It's pretty cool there. So um, yeah. So I guess that's it really. And comment down what you want next. So, yeah. We'll see you guys in the next one.